What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with your host, Mark Jennison, founder and creator of the Comeback, the man who's going to change your life. Today's topic is Master the Art of Quitting. Sit back, enjoy the show, put this to work. All right, so today's episode, it's a little bit weird, okay? In my mind, thought it goes something like this. I predominantly talk about quitting alcohol, right? Quitting, 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 or control, 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 right? Um, so in, in one side of it, I talk about like, oh, hey, man, you should, you know, you should quit, you should quit, you should quit. But understanding that the real truth and the real science, or the real fucking work that needs to be done here is in order to quit, you can never quit. And at first, that used to mess with my mind quite a bit. It didn't make sense to me because I'm not a quitter. And I, I'm pretty, I'm pre, I suck at quite a fucking, quite a few things, right? Not always great at business. I don't always make the right decisions. I don't always love going to the gym. I don't always fucking do everything right the first time. But one thing that I've mastered is that I've never give up. I've been able to will myself to complete control of my thoughts, my emotions, my actions. I've been able to dig myself out of a seven figure hole of debt and, and, and fucking chaos and controversy and pain and struggle that my drinking, my, my self, lack of self-belief, lack of self-confidence, whatever. My point is this. I've been able to take myself out of a financial crisis that I put myself in eight years ago, eight, nine years ago, and I've been able to get out by not quitting when I wanted to quit. I've been able to rebirth a business. I've been able to re-foster relationships with with friends and people who didn't fucking like me and now they like me and there's other ones that like me that I don't give a fuck they like me anymore because things change. My point is this, the one thing that has been constant and it's the one thing that needs to be constant inside of your life is master the art of quitting. And like I said, getting to the point where you understand that as you're quitting something, as you're letting go, as you're removing something, never give up on or doing more. It goes the same way. So how do you get your mind wrapped around that? Right. That's, that's really the question. How do you get your mind wrapped around the fact that in order for me to put this alcohol down, I need to understand that I got to get comfortable quitting something, but at the same time, not quitting. It's very, very simple. In my program that I work with, my men and, and that I put myself through that I started years and years and years ago for myself called the comeback. Um, we, we live by what's called the comeback seven. It's the core values of the program. It's not steps. It's not, it's just a way of life. It's a, it's a code of ethics. It's a belief system that is ingrained so deeply inside of myself and every single one of these men that we live in. It creates discipline. Uh, there is no rocket science to what I do. I can tell you exactly how to do it. The problem is you guys won't do it on your own. Anyways, I know that. So what I, what I want to focus on is exactly what those seven things are. Faith, finances, family, fitness, future, freedom, and foundation. Now, four of those things, the first four of those things are pretty freaking basic. And the other ones are kind of the work and the framework in your mindset that helps you push to become the man you want to be. So when I get to the point when I want to quit, right, because I do get those thoughts, when I get to the point where I feel like giving up on everything, I focus directly on the fifth F. The fifth F is the future. Now. The days that I want to burn it down, the days I want to go into the bar, the days I want to actually just enjoy getting punched in the face literally by people or starting a fight because I have this sixth sense where I freaking can't stand. I I enjoy the pain and I enjoy fucking people. Those days that I want to go out and let that ugly head rear itself up the discipline kicks into place and the way that I am able to trigger this discipline just cycles down. I can, I'll list them off to you. Goal number one, I'm the top giver in my church, community, charity, choice. Number two, in, and these things are not in a particular order. They're not in a particular order. I write number one all time. But number two, I've given my family the best life, the most opportunities possible. Number three, I have a business platform that actually helps every single person. Number four, I work. I've helped millions. 
Number five, I make $100 million a week. Number six, I drive a fifth gender drives up here. Goal number seven, I own, I own it. I've acres back home here in Wisconsin. On the pool, nobody can take from us. I own a private jet called J100. I will move it. Here's my moment. Those are the. In order to get those things, I set them pretty freaking high. I can never quit, just like you can never quit. But knowing this all the whole time, that as I get closer to the goals, that as you climb the ladder, get closer to these goals, life is going to throw obstacles your way. You're going to get curveballs. There's going to be challenges. There's going to be wants. There's going to be triggers. There's going to be fears. There's going to be there's going to be parties. There's going to be holidays. Whatever it is that you face. You've got to face them and you've got to focus on the future. In order to get to those things that I have laid out, in order for you, if you got out a pen and paper right now, which is actually going to be the practice for you guys. If you guys got out a pen and paper right now and you wrote down your goals, you actually allowed yourself to consider the possibility to, to believe and think just a little bit larger than you ever you, than you, than you told, right? Most people think that you should just be able to have a house and family that's good enough. But if you just give me a back, then you're going to go, man, it feels great. And then boom. Man, I don't know if I could do this. Fear is going to set in. Sedation is going to set in. Thinking about going back to that old life stuff because it's easy is going to set in. And that's okay. If that's what you want to be, that's, that's fine. You can continue to listen to us. You can continue to do what you need to do. We're not mad at you. But for those of you guys out there who want to really truly understand the art of not quitting, it's laying down a framework beneath it of something larger that you can attach your mental picture to and understand why you're doing what you're doing. Now, then you can, go, you can reverse it back in. Okay, so that's the fifth one. We're going to skip the fourth F, which is on fitness. And then we're going to focus on the family. For me, it's legacy. My alcohol problems, my drinking, the things I've done for people in my family. Now, some good, some bad. Obviously, Phoenix wasn't around when I started drinking, but he was born into my drinking problem. He was born right into the pit and the thickness of the shit that I was going through. His first four years of his life were fucking utter chaos. Dad was not present. My business was growing at the same time imploding it by my self-police, by the actions I was taking. The relationship that I was in with his mother was disgusting at best. All these things like directly affected him. My new relationship with Kendra, I've never told a lie. I'm completely confident in what we do. Our communication on another level. I actually enjoy spending time with her, but because of where I'm at in this stage in the game, all I talk about is drinking, right? My whole life is to help people not drink. Where I'm getting at here is that the legacy I'm trying to leave is created. And I, my mastering the quitting of drinking, the art and the science of not drinking and not quitting and not giving up is by exactly doing what I'm telling you guys to do. The next piece is the finances. If you don't have money, if you don't have resources, if you don't have a roof over your kid's head, you can't afford to put lunch on the table, food at the, on, the, on the table, what the fuck are you doing? Now, I know the majority of my audience, because I speak to business owners, um, high-end sales reps, executives, guys who have a mindset for success, you don't really have that problem because you're producers. You need to get you refocused back on. And the most important piece we master this is to see the fit. My program, Faith Symphony, is believing in something you can't see. You need to be able to believe in yourself. You need to be able to believe in me. You need to be able to believe in the process. You need to be able to believe in something. Because you cannot dig yourself out of this pit if you don't believe. And what I just did for you guys right there is I, re, I reverse engineered exactly the process that I go through on a daily basis. I shouldn't say daily basis. Uh, you know, once, twice a month is where I get hit now. And I'm years and years and years removed. But in order to me to get this, this discipline, to be able to have the mental wherewithal, to condition my mindset, to be able to handle the same shit that you go through, I had to master this art and science of quitting. By understanding 
that quitting actually equals control. Control of your thoughts, emotions, and actions. Being able to find a way to track them and measure them and put them into discipline daily. That is exactly what I do here at the comeback. So I've got an exercise I want you guys to do today. Get out a notebook if you're if you're part of my um, if you're part of my program, the free group, and you're watching this, or you're part of my my uh, comeback council, or maybe even the comeback experience or the comeback alliance, and you're part of this group of men that I already work with. You already know the drill. But for those of you guys on the outside that I'm getting that are catching this, get out a notebook. Go to uh, Walmart. Go somewhere. Get an 88 cent composition notebook, and I want you to list out the goals. I want you to look at those things and then ask yourself, can I achieve these goals with the lifestyle I have right now? If the answer comes back that you can, either A, you're not thinking big enough or B, you just truly don't want it bad enough. That's it. You're not giving yourself permission to go. And if you can do that, and maybe maybe you've got high, high goals and you're already doing amazing in your life. Maybe you don't have a bigger problem as you thought. My, my idea behind these shows, these things I do, is to try to leave you better than I found you in one way, shape, or form. I want people to come in and consume my content, consume what I do, and actually leave here with a better understanding of themselves, a different opportunity than going to this AA place that I'm meeting, that I'm fucking driving past right now. Understanding there's other ways out there and it can start within your fucking head. So if that is you, congratulations. Keep doing what you're doing. But for those other guys right now, you see those goals. Do they light you up? Do they charge you up inside? Are they big enough and strong enough to make you freaking get out of bed every day to not think about drinking, to not quit on yourself, to not quit on your family, to not quit on your future? I hope they are. If you would like a little more detail on figuring out how to write your goals, how to put this plan of action in place, if that comeback seven sounds like a core belief system that you'd like to uh, understand and live by. What I encourage you to do is reach out to myself or my team or fill out this, click this link. I'm a comeback.com forward slash supply. I am a comeback.com forward slash supply and uh, set up a time to talk with us and myself or my team or someone will reach out to you and we'll see if we're a fit. Either way, we're going to go a little bit deeper with you and help you understand your problems um, and, and move from there. So that's it for today's episode. One more time, that link is I am a comeback.com forward slash apply. I look forward to talking to you guys and we'll see you on tomorrow's episode.